I've just got my electricity bill for the last three month period. Now that's the first three months that I've had the solar and power wall for the whole duration of that three months. So I've done a bit of a breakdown on, on how much it cost and uh, basically worked out the payback period of the system. Going back through some of my old bills, it was around about a thousand bucks a quarter when I didn't have solar. But now, just under a hundred bucks. That's for the quarter. That hundred dollar bill was basically just the uh, supply charge over the three month period, which is a dollar fifteen a day. Now, uh, with the solar exports that I did, it brought it down to a dollar three a day. And this usage here, less than a kilowatt hour a day, that's basically the trickles that come in that just because it's connected to the grid there is still a bit of energy flow each way okay what I usually do is when I get up if it's a sunny day I plug the car in to charge now as you can see here the load of the house mainly the car is four kilowatts which isn't covered by the solar so some of that power is coming from the battery but I know that as the day goes on the solar power will increase and there'll be more solar than the load requires and then it'll start charging the power wall All right here's a graph to show that a bit easier and if you look at the yellow line here, that's the solar power, and the blue is the load consumption. So this is when I plug the car into charge. So you can see it's drawing a lot of power, and the solar was still only producing this much at that time. So at, at about just before 9 o'clock, that's when the solar power surpassed the load, and that's when that excess was being fed into the battery, which is down here. So what I did, I had the car on the charge from just before 7 to just about half past 11 and then I stopped the car charging and I just let the rest of the day charge up the power wall and you can see down here that was charging up the power wall, power wall until this point and then the power wall was full and the rest of the charge just went sorry the rest of the solar power just went out to the grid here's a live shot of when the solar power just surpassed what the load was consuming as it kept going up and as the day goes on further still uh, the solar is really coming in so it's not a problem to power the house and charging the car at 15 amps. You can see that I've still only got 35% into the power wall battery there but uh, when I turn the car off that's when a lot of power goes into that power wall to charge it up. I'm in the car now and it's just coming up to half past 11 and I put the car on charge this morning when I got up and so far it's put in uh, 66 k's worth of driving roughly. So that's all solar powered. I'm going to stop charging the car now so I can get some of this solar power into the power wall. And then once that's full, the rest, if there is any, will just go out to the grid. Okay, now that I've unplugged the car, the load drops right down. And you can see there's four kilowatts basically going straight into the battery to charge it up. So this is half past 11 and it'll just charge that battery up now. If I have a look on the graph again, as I said, this is where I stopped the car charging. So all of this solar power was going into the, uh, the power wall. And as you can see, that's the point where the charge rate really shot up. So it went right up to 100%. Earlier on in the day, that's when I was using some of the power from the power wall to go to the car. But um, as I said, once I turned the car off, it just shot up. And if I go to the, the car's battery, you can see this is how much charge I put into the car. Now the car's got a way bigger battery than the power wall, but um, as you saw, I still put enough Ks driving in. So it went up by what, uh, 16% pretty much, which isn't too bad. Now if I work out what that saved in electricity, it was 900 bucks a quarter, which works out to be uh, 3,600 a year. Now the whole system cost me 25 grand. So if I divide that by the uh, 3600, so I'm talking seven years to have it paid back. So there it is, a seven year payback period for the, uh, the cost of the solar and the power wall. Now, as I've said before, the reason I got the power wall was because we get blackouts here. And there was in fact one today, uh, not that I had it here, but I noticed that I did con disconnect from the grid because of a power outage, only briefly. Um, but the reason I got the car was not to have an electric car to be all electric and save the world or any of that. I got the car because it's quick and I got the power wall to avoid blackouts. Now, having done the numbers and just living with the fact that I can charge the car off the sun, it, it kind of makes sense. Like I never set out to be a big solar powered greenie or anything, but 
this is just so logical to me now because that that hundred dollar bill that you saw for three months includes my my travel so there's no petrol costs so it, it pretty much has proven itself as a way to go